What's going on XDA and YouTube? I'm going to jump right in and show you how to install Cyanjimod for the Huawei Ascend Mate 2. So we're on the XDA form right here and then this is the dedicated form for Cyanjimod so far. And down at the bottom on the install instructions you're going to need to download three things, okay? You're going to need to download TWRP 2.8.7 for this to work. So if you already have TWRP and it's not that model, or you got it from somewhere else, I would reflash this because you'll probably have problems. The other thing you're going to need is Cyanjimod 12 right here, the unofficial build because it's still in beta. It's working beautiful so far. I really have no bugs. And then finally, the third thing you're going to need is your Google Apps, okay? Which is your Google Play services, your Google Play Store, the way to install other apps from the Play Store. So you're going to want to download all three. So you're going to want to click here which is your Google Apps, down at the, you're going to scroll down just a little bit. We have Cyanjimod 12.1, so there's only one link to click here. And then you're going to want to go down a little bit further. We have ARM. We don't have the ARM64 and we don't have 86. So we're going to click ARM and then click the one at the bottom right here. This is the one I chose. Um, it's the latest out right now, as you can tell, one month, two months, three months. Okay, so click this. It'll download. So we're going to go back. We're now going to click TWRP and you're going to click begin download right here. It's going to count down real quick. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Gotta love free sites. And then you just click the first mirrored site right here. Primary download, okay? So you're going to download that. Then you're going to download, what did I just click? TW Park. Okay, so now we're going to click Cyogen Mod. And again, you're going to click to begin download. It's going to count down because we're free. Four, three, two, one. We can download. Again, right here, click primary download. So you should now have three files in your downloads folder, okay? You have Google Apps, you have TWRP, which is your recovery, and you have the ROM itself, which is CyogenMod, okay? So what I went ahead and did is I just created a HAM2 folder on my desktop and I put those three files in there okay but if you don't know where they go they're usually in downloads right here as you can tell they're here but I copied those and put them in a separate folder so I know what I'm working with so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is flash your TWRP and what I went ahead and did is I renamed it from the original one and I'll show you the original name which again would be in my downloads folder and it is right here. So let me copy this because I didn't do anything to that yet. And I'll put that here too. So, so when you copy all three, you'll have one, two, and three right here. You're going to want to click TWRP and you're going to want to right click and hit rename. You're going to want to rename it to just TWRP. Make sure it still dot has that, that, excuse me, make sure it still has dot IMG after it because it's TWRP image. So if you're not sure how to do that, you just click view and um, show file extension. See how it takes it and makes it disappear and comes back. So now that you have TWRP.image, you're going to want to copy that and you're going to go to your C drive and you're going to want to go to your ADB folder. The What I used was 15 second ADB installer, but that's a whole nother video. Um, but all you would do is just go to Google. I'll do it real quick and type in 15 second ADB which is right here and it's going to be this top XDA link right here okay so you're going to want to click that and you're going to want to install it okay which is the downloads right here this Dropbox link is dead but Google Drive works good as you can tell and then you just click download right here and then you'd install 15 second ADB you'd click yes on it and yes and it'll install some drivers or whatever just click um, click yes now what I noticed is that with my phone, the HAM2, with Windows 8.1 and Windows 10, to get it to register an ADB, I also had to install this right here, which is the high suit setup, which is from the Hawaii, Huawei support site for our phone. And I guess it installs some special driver just for our phone. So make sure you do that too. 
Um, and if you, the way you can tell you have it is you just click start and type in high and then high suit desktop app right here. Okay. It's pretty cool for our phone if you use that. Anyways, so you have those and we went to ADB and we put the TWRP image inside the ADB folder. So now we're going to want to go to your command prompt. So we're going to want to type in CMD and we're going to type change directory C colon backslash ADB. So now we're in our ADB folder, which if you can tell is this link, I mean this directory right here, look, see, C colon backslash ADB. So now we're going to want to plug in our phones, okay, and you're also going to want to make sure your developer options is enabled too, see, I mean, see where ugh, debugging is connected. So you're going to want to go to your developer options and you're going to want to enable that. And you want to also enable USB debugging. You cannot go further without doing this, okay? So do that. Your phone should like beep a couple times on the computer. And make sure you go to my computer right here and it sees your phone. See where it says mine right here? Okay. You can also go to your device manager. And you don't want to see any little yellow things here. Okay? Especially when it says phone or mobile phone. If you see that, it's not going to work. So the way to check to make sure your ADB interface is working with your phone is all you type is ADB devices, ADB, and you should see your phone right here, okay? So now that we've confirmed that we have ADB talking to our phone, it's connected and it's working, we're going to type in fast boot flash recovery C colon backslash ADB backslash twrp.img. That's why we renamed this file right here. Otherwise, we'd be typing that whole name. Okay? So we're fast booting the flashing. We're flashing the recovery. And then this is the directory of the file. So we're going to want to click enter. It's going to say waiting for your device. Now you're going to unplug your phone. You're going to turn it off. While this is turning off, make sure there's no spelling errors in this right here, and then the directory is correct, okay? So now to get into your bootloader mode, you're going to hold the power down button, and you're going to hit the power button. When you see the screen logo pop up, there you go. Take your hand off the power button. Now we're in fast boot mode. This is going to happen really quick, so I'm going to try and just keep it right on the screen. Once I plug this in, you're going to see it start, and it's going to finish within like a second or two. Okay, boom, it's done. So now you can go ahead and unplug this. And if you see right here, there's no error messages, okay? It sent the recovery. You ripped the recovery. It finished. Everything happened in, a, you know, one second and 20 tenths of a second. So now what you're going to want to do is hold the power button in until your phone restarts. You now have TWRP. So while this is flashing, I mean turning back on, you can exit this, you can now exit this, and you're going to want to go to your Huawei HAM2 folder again, okay? So we we're done with these two, which is really one file just renamed. Now we're going to want to take your Google Apps and your CyAngine mod, and you're going to want to stick them on your SD card on your phone, okay? So when this is booted back up, I'm going to plug it back in, and I'll copy those over to my SD card. It has to be on your SD card. Okay. Now, just so you know, if you already have TWRP installed to the latest one, you can just download this stuff from your phone, your, your CyAngine mod and your G apps, and you don't need a computer for this part, but I'm going to do it because it's easier for me. So now the phone's up. I'm going to plug it back in. We're going to go to my computer, or well, we're going to right click on these two, and we're going to copy them. We're going to go to my computer, and we're going to wait for my little phone to pop up. See how it took a second to pop up? So don't freak out when you says it's not working. So now we're going to want to click that. We're going to want to not use your internal storage. We're going to want to click your SD card. I got a lot of stuff on here. And we're going to want to click the paste button right here. We're going to paste those in here. 
So now I already have them. They're all the way at the bottom. I have 20 right here. And I have... Doo -doo 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 -doo. I have my G apps right here. So these are the two you guys would copy in. I already have it. I'm not going to overwrite it. Okay? So now that those are on your phone, you have this. You can unplug it again because there's no point in having it plugged in. You're going to want to power off your phone. And we're done with the computer part now. Oop, sorry. Now instead of getting into fast boot, we need to go into recovery. So instead of holding the power down, or I mean the volume down rocker, we're going to hold the volume up rocker and then hit the power button. So hold the power up button. I mean, hold the power up rocker and then click on the power button. I see the logo, let go of the power button while continuing to hold the up button. See how it says Team Win and it's blue? And it also says version 2870 up there. If it doesn't say that, uh, you need to, you know, you downloaded the wrong one. Okay. So now that that's done, I'm going to put the phone down. I'll do this real quick for y'all. Okay, so here we go. Now, the first thing you want to do if you're new to TWRP is create a backup. You know how you do that? You click the backup button right here. You're going to want to click backup name right here, and you're going to want to rename it to whatever you want, okay? Make it something that you remember. So, like, mine would be BL309, which is the build number, um, and then that's it. Maybe a uh, preview because it's not a real one. I'm not going to do that because I already have it. If you wanted to restore it, all you do is click restore, and then here's my backups, okay? So, here's the B309 Lollipop with my full apps installed. I got my my Saijaman unofficial. All everything seems to be working, and then I also got a Saijaman unofficial where I installed my exposed modules, and then the system update was like for, I think it was Jelly Bean update just in case. So I got Jelly Bean, Lollipop, Saijaman backups. After you create a backup, you're gonna want to click wipe right here. All you're gonna have to do is just swipe to do a factory reset. That's deleting all the data off of your phone, guys. So that my apps are gone, my pictures are gone on my internal storage. Anything that's not on your SD card just got erased, including the ROM, okay? So now when that's done, you're gonna wanna click Home, and you're gonna wanna click Install. We're gonna wanna change my micro to, yeah, micro SD card. Make sure it's on micro SD card and click OK. I'm on my root level of my SD card and I'm going to want to scroll until I see the side gen mod right there where we put it. We don't want the 18 version, we want the 820 so we're going to click that, Oop. click that, make sure again it says 820 up here, we're going to swipe to confirm the flash. Now this thing is going to install with no errors so if you swipe to flash and you see an error there's something just went wrong, okay? And you don't have side gen mod. So it only takes about like two minutes, so I'm going to let the camera run, and so that way you guys can see it in real time and how long it should take or whatever. So it gets stuck on patching system image, but it's, you know, it's not really stuck. It keeps going. The little bar down here is still moving. And what it's doing right now is it's installing Saijamod on your phone. Which is why we had to wipe the data before this. Because we don't want to install Saijamod on top of Huawei's Lollipop. So we need to get rid of that. So the phone turned off. And if you let it keep stay off, when it's done installing, the phone will turn back on and you'll know it's done. That way you can save some battery if you do a lot of flashing. But I'll hit the power button so you guys can see. It's still running in the background. We're just going to swipe to unlock it. So we can continue to watch. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, it's done. I've had no red error messages anywhere in this log, okay? Also, it said successful. So it leads me to believe that I installed it successfully. What I always like to do is wipe my cache right there. Swipe it to wipe. Again, successful. We're going to want to click back and then home. And we're also going to want to install our Google Apps again, remember? So it should be right where you copied that. And then here's Google Apps right there. So we're going to click it. We're going to swipe it to install. Again, it's installing G Apps, and there should be no red lines or there should be no error messages to be successful. All done. Again, I like to wipe my cache. Okay, you click your home, you click reboot, you click system, and congratulations, you should have Saiyajin mod. It's going to take a couple minutes for the first boot. I'll leave it on so you guys can see how long it should take. And then it's going to start updating your apps. I think 93 of them or 97 or something. That takes a few minutes. Right off the bat, that's a good sign because it booted in the Saiyajin mod. So it's a little bit over 10 minutes now and you pretty much flashed your custom recovery you did a, a backup and we installed a new ROM pretty good so once you start it or once it starts itself it'll be optimizing apps 15, 17, 18 of 97 guys once this is up you guys have already confirmed it's working because you know it is starting um, congratulations you have Cyanogen mod on your Huawei SM8 too